Hi there, here I am again, Sister Paula, that old Pentecostal transgender preacher, and I want to share with you something today that is very precious to my own heart. I, for the last six and seven years, I have been working on my autobiography, my life story, and at last, after all this work, I said to somebody the other day, remind me to never write another book again. Although I may do another book down the road. Anyway, but I tell you, I had no idea when I started writing my autobiography how much work it was going to be. But now the book is at last off of the press and it's available through Amazon and Create Space. Or you can um, write to me at my post office box and I will mail you a personalized autograph copy. And that information you can get on my webpage sisterpaula.org but I was thinking of an old chorus we used to sing when I was the teenager this old world can never hold me any moment I'll be gone for I've made my consecration and I have my wedding garments on oh this old world can never hold me any moment I'll be gone for I've made my consecration and I have my wedding garments on. Here I am at 74 years old in 2012 as we tape this little YouTube clip. I don't think the Lord's through with my life and my ministry yet. In 2005, I almost died from a heart attack, had open heart surgery, and I believe, and so does several other friends of mine, even non-religious people, that my life was spared at that time because my purpose in being here was not completed, and a part of that purpose is leaving a legacy of my life story and life experiences for future generations of kids of transgender youth who grow up, who will have it a little bit easier than I had when I grew up in the 50s. And old Wings of Healing Ladder Rain Chorus went like this. We're building a road, building a road, helping the weak and blind. We're going to smooth out that road that leads to heaven's abode and make it easy for those behind. And I am so proud of my book that is just out now and it's available right now as we speak, The Trans Evangelist. The Life and Times of a Transgender Pentecostal Preacher. Somebody told me one time you can be a preacher or you can be an entertainer, but you can't do both. And I respond with an old Chinese proverb, those who say it cannot be done should not interrupt those who are doing it. And my, this book, my life story, I was born in 1938 and it documents seven decades of history of my life and the way things were during those decades for gay, lesbian, bi, and trans people then and gay youth today have it a lot easier and I hope they'll even have it e than I had about being open as a trans person that I had when I grew up and that this book will keep my message going for generation after generation after I've departed this earthly scene when I stand before God face to face and give an accounting for the things I did in my life. Of course, not every person and every situation I've ever experienced is in the book. If it was, it would be an encyclopedia. But I prayed with the Lord's help and the Lord gave me the commission to tell when telling my story to tell the bad right along with the good, even as the Bible does when it recounts the stories of the patriarchs and prophets of the time the Bible was written. And many of the Bible stories of the main characters in the Bible, you know, are a lot more, um, are, you know, 
a lot more salacious, much more salacious than anything in this book. But I haven't left the salacious part out. I'm going to hold this up just for a moment so you can see it. There, you don't want to, my producers behind the camera doesn't want me to cover up my face. And that's understandable. But anyway, to the trans evangelist, life and times of a transgender Pentecostal preacher. And like I say, you can go into Amazon, create space and order them that way. But if you want me to mail you a personalized autographed copy, then you're going to have to write out a check and send it to my post office box because I don't have PayPal and I don't intend to. <laughs> but you can send it to my post office box and, and without, and I will send the book back to you signed and won't charge any extra for, um, shipping and handling and all this information you can get on Amazon and also on my web page sisterpaula.org the trans evangelist I am so proud of this book and to share my story with you the story of a transsexual's journey searching for her place in life searching for acceptance searching and try and not trying but be not trying to be searching and being the person God created me to be, and that's as an open transgender Pentecostal preacher. God created me to be that, that, and therefore, you know, God accepts me as a trans person, that there is no question about it, and if you're gay, lesbian, bi, or trans, read this book, and you'll know as I know that God accepts you exactly as you are. Oh yes, this old world can never hold me, any moment I'll be gone, for I've made my consecration, and I have my wedding garments on. Amen.